What's up guys, Chris and his tech here and today I'll be showing you how to make your iPod or iPhone, doesn't matter what you have, faster. Now, these two are jailbroken and after a while they obviously get slow, but that's the same thing with uh, if you know if you haven't jailbroken it. They get slow after you have a lot of apps, music, etc. You know. So here let me just slap to unlock real quick. I'll pass code on this one. As you can see, they both have Cydia. And I, on my iPhone, I don't have that many stuff, but on my iPod Touch, there's a ton, ton, ton of stuff. So, how you're going to make it um, faster, you don't need to be jailbroken, and you don't need to download anything from Cydia. You're going to do it straight up from, the, from your iDevice. So, you're going to go to Settings. Once you're in Settings, you're going to go down to General. I don't know if I'm getting this real good in shot. That is too bright. So you're gonna go to general. Click general for my iPod touch. Um so all of this is gonna come out. All you're gonna do is scroll all the way to the bottom and click reset. So I'll do that with my iPod touch too. Go all the way to bottom, reset. Once you're here, you're gonna want to hit reset network settings. As you can see there, boom. Now, if you do have a passcode, it's going to ask for it, so you just put it right in. And then it's going to ask you. This will delete all network settings, returning them to factory uh, defaults. Now, if you are jailbroken, don't be afraid. It, it will still be jailbroken. It will just speed up your device. That's all it's going to do. So, we hit the reset, and now we just let them load. Now... Don't be afraid, like I said, uh, if you're jailbroken, it won't get you in jailbroken. If you're afraid from updating to iOS 6, it won't update for you. All I do, it's kind of like restore your computer, like it's going to make it clean and a little bit faster. So, don't be afraid of doing this. So now we're going to give it a couple minutes. And as you can see, iPod Touch, 4 John, and an iPhone 4. As you can see right there. And that's my loud computer. Sorry about that noise. Alright, so as you can see, my iPod Touch beat my iPhone, and I just dropped my iPod. Good thing I don't have, I have uh, carpet floors, but <laughs> there it is. And you are going to notice that at first it's going to be a little bit slow, but that's because that happens every time you turn off and turn on your uh, iDevice. But um, once it, like, you know, you give it a little bit of time it will you know work and it will be brand new it will work brand new if you open an app it will app really fast and it won't lag as much as compared to what you had it to so as you can see that opened fairly quick oops that's not my internet connection that's mine and there you go so that's pretty much it and as you can see pretty pretty quick and responsive so if i helped you Go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you want. You can subscribe. I'm not asking it, but might as well. Um, so, yeah, if you guys want to watch more of my videos, you can click up there and see click see all videos, and you can go and watch them. But, um, yeah, that's all for right now. Catch you guys later. Peace.